Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play. Oop, oop, boop, 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 boop. He's gonna catch me. Welcome back to Let's Play Sands of Salzar. This will be part 30 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we, well, we discovered a lot of stuff and we are just kind of trying to get to the Ifrit Void Master. Um, and kind of end this once and for all, and that's what we're gonna do. But, uh, yeah, we we met some new friends, we kind of saved everyone, we went back in time and met the river goddess, that was a bit of a weird one. Uh, but anyway, back to, back to our, uh, our guy. You're back, but this time nobody is blocking you. Oh wait, hang on, we didn't get the river goddess, that was the one before, wasn't it? Now the last one was we like met all the other shards of the obsidian flame or something? Oh no, wait, we did have Meet the River Goddess. Oh god. It's all getting a little bit, uh, too much, I think. But let's see how we go. <clears throat> oh, here he is. Humans. Void Master, does our agreement still stand? Later stretches out her right hand. A light blue flame flickers in her palm. Perhaps the price we paid was high enough. Your freed Void Master reaches out and clasps onto the blue flame in a later's palm. Blue flame flies into the air, turning into a hovering firefly. It flies around in loop-de-loops, mimicking the signatures on the bottom of a contract. <clears throat> Before we do anything else, I have to go and deal with that guy. I'll go with you. Obsidian flame has not let, let up on sending monsters out here. They're getting stronger and stronger. We need you back here. The Aussie nerd, I'm the only emissary left. No, <clears throat> oh, sorry. While well, you were comatose, I learned how to open up the rift between the two worlds. When everything is good and ready, we can set off. Uh... Yeah? Well, I guess this is... this is it. Are you ready? Sure. It later begins an incantation, and the familiar blue halo re-emerges. But the spectrum of light coming from the halo seems somehow different this time around. What's this? It's created a tunnel. A tunnel? This is just space. The real rift should be on the other side of the space. If we were to walk straight through it, I could keep my power up for the same time. But inside are nothing but the most powerful of monsters. Perhaps we can find some powerful spirit mancers to help out. There's no time. Aleda, looking as though she's had a eureka moment, suddenly draws her scimitar. She smiles. Now she can help us. Elated chants an incantation and her scimitar glows dimly as it floats in the air. Suddenly, the light around the scimitar spreads out radially like the roots of a tree bending toward the swirling blue vortex. The moment the scimitar light touches the tunnel, its radius grows larger and the tunnel itself gives off a flash. I'm not entirely sure what's behind the rift, and I don't want anyone else to risk it. I understand. Then let's go. You and your comrades can handle the monsters on this road, but only you and Elena may pass through the rift. Okay. <clears throat> so what, we have to, I, we can like go together, I mean I can just walk past, okay, sure. I do have to fight some of them. Yeah, like, okay, so we can go together, but Elater and I fight the final boss battle. That makes sense. Oh god, it's, it's real bad there, isn't it? Or at least it sounds pretty bad. I don't know if it is pretty bad. How, how do we get... Ooh. I've never seen creatures like this before. This is where the monsters of the Black Sun came from. Uh, how, how do we go? Oh, they're all fucking fine. Amazing. You guys, you guys are it. Uh, can I get an apothecary? No, I need 40 jade. I got 23. Bummer. Okay. That's fine. I mean, can we not just mostly go past? Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I was gonna say mostly go past, but nope, he just instantly, instantly got me. Nice! That was some big damage right there. I think we have- oh wow, we're fighting like all the top tier enemies though. Yeah, they clumped up a lot. Like, jeez, that big blast just killed so many of them. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, okay, just just fight me. Just just fight me, I don't care. How many? 96. Ugh. That's a bit worse. Although... Uh, uh, 
I'm getting mangled. Okay, I think that slowed him down. Okay, I have lost a couple this time. Unless it was just my companions, which I think it might have been. Oh my god. Yeah, the older E and R attacks really just... Really just slap, don't they? Uh, which way are we... Oh, we're going this way. Got ya. Come on, then. No? Alright, that demon... He's chill. He He's like, No, I choose life! I've seen your friend, I've seen you kill my friends. This guy, he's much dumber. Oops. Wrong button. Uh... Still went pretty fucking good, though. Alright. Into the portal, so just me and a later. This could be a short episode, we could be at the end of this. Oh. Uh, hello? That if read up ahead looks like an emissary. Right, so we're gonna see all the emissaries? Something seems different from before, though. Oh, it's just a bunch of Ifrit. Uh... That thing. It's obsidian in a flame. I've seen it before in a mirage. Thank you for giving the power of time to my ancestors. For letting me try to go back and see you time and time again. Now that I've finally seen you, I just feel... Sorry for you. Because the only way you can ever leave here is in a coffin. A pair of dark hands dart towards Elayda like bolts from a quiver. Elayda! The long, thin fingers of the dark hand penetrate through Elay Elayda's upper left chest cavity. Ha 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 ha. Turn back, Diamond. Give me another chance. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Obsidian Flame sounds like a mix between the voice of humans and various beast birds and insects. Okay, I can't do that. Do not forget. Despite the audible sound of blood dripping into the, onto the ground, Elayda looked exactly the same. Her eyes focused on Obsidian Flame, with both her hands slowly moving toward the impaling hand. What are you trying to do? No. Take it back. Your hand only works on emissaries, right? You! You only have connections to emissaries, right? And carefully hoard your powerful from sharing it with too many people. You're afraid of your powers being robbed from you. You're afraid of being abandoned, discarded, betrayed, and forgotten. Because apart from this one strength, you are nothing. Hey! Mia! The black hands appear to be acting like blood vessels, pumping some kind of something into a later. <sighs> Without thinking, you grab the black vein. <laughs> Idiots, fools! What did you see? Elayda, grab that rope. Oh, sorry, that's me. Elayda, grab that rope. Hmm? Rope. Okay, got it. Pull back, just like a tug of war. Ah! The vein tube splits open, shattering into powder. Uh, okay, three allies. Gotta be Rick, Nassant, and Zaynet. Just, just my crew. Alright, we'll see if we can actually win this. Oh my god, that's a lot of demons. Oh, I don't want to be hit. I've, I've changed my mind, don't want to be there anymore. So wait, how do I kill the obsidian flame? Do I just shoot it? Whoop, don't want to be... Here, ow. That, that tickled. Okay, you just want to die for me? How are we, how are we doing here? Are we, are we winning? Are we losing? What about... Boom. A big boom boom. Whoop. Whoop. Don't, don't point at me. Ow. They're not doing a ton of damage, actually. Okay, well... I'm being a bit juggled, I'll be honest. Okay, can you guys just not do that? God, I am being a little bit... A little bit beaten up here. Oof. Okay, I'm being juggled again. Guys, help! Help! Team, help! Why are you not helping me? Why am I fighting the demons? Come on, die, please. Okay, got one. 
Wow, he does not give a shit that I'm, like, hitting him with the stun attacks, does he? Okay, you die now. Oh my god. Okay, are you guys at least winning against the Obsidian Flame? Why Why does that not work? Oh god, that's, that's a big boy. Please don't chase me. You're chasing me, aren't you? Yep, yeah, you are. Okay. Pfft. <laughs> I'm going to hit him with a tiny attack and he's just like a bonk. Oh my god. He's just like beating the crap out of me. Okay, I think I got him. Jesus. Unbelievable. Unforgivable. It seems like life doesn't change no matter which universe you're living in. Such resentment, such hatred and betrayal. Such mutual destruction. The ground shakes abruptly and dark purple halos start to open up around the place. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hey. Why does it feel like I'm losing energy? Disappear with me. <laughs> the Assyrian Flame's body begins to disintegrate and alongside its form crumbles the rest of this universe. Like a baby clutching for its mother, it reaches it reached out its arm to the formless splintered sky. Suddenly, the palm of the hand turns to face you. The dark purple flame gradually dims, eventually extinguishing. Wow. I I think we won. Oh, is she going to save me? She's definitely going to save me, right? She's going to die with the flame. To feel so useless after losing my royal blood. Ah, of course. Cuz he's I'm dead. Sorry, I just can't. Yeah, cuz the obsidian flame is dead, so. Was that me, I suppose? Fortunately, we can finally experience time together. Time with you. It's all that the the voice acting in this is actually really good. What little there is, but the translation leaves something to be desired. In fact, as I watched time repeat itself, I began to forget that I too am but a mere mortal. The power that belonged to the Obsidian Flame has left me. But I still have my own power. That's right. The power of humanity. Damn right. Don't need no Obsidian Flame. You're good enough as is. I did it. And that's it. Cool. I guess I can just continue. You gain 98 class points. You begin with 98 class points available. You may end this game at any time and start a new game with all class points refunded. If you still harbor regrets, you can keep exploring this game. Class points will continue to be updated daily based on your performance. Neat! So it's just free roam now. So if we game difficulty level increased by one. As you walk through the rift, you feel an unprecedented amount of pressure. This suffocating feeling throws up memories of your fight with Olum, which is obviously far more potent now. Latest hand gingerly strokes your back, and with a chill radiating out, radiating out from the center of your back, all discomfort disappears. Thank you, that's much better. Rather surprisingly, there's nothing here. What is it going to do? A creature born of hatred with the power to destroy entire universes. It, however, relies on creatures weaker than it to do weaker than it to stoke up conflict. Now I understand what it is. Just a lump of rotting flesh, crucified to the sins of this broken world. It constantly sucks up nutrients to grow extra limbs, pull out those nails, and leave this abysmal grave. How pathetic. Despite having the power of the world at your fingertips, you're unable to act. This shattered universe has become a tumor on its body, inescapable, incurable, and intractable. It's now trying to use war and hate to destroy the other universe, and from it gain new strength. Even if you could do it, could you guarantee freedom as promised? All around you hear the sound of sharp objects clinking and rubbing together. Obsidian flame is but a manifestation of energy, however, and can never shirk the fact that it's not a real, living, conscious being. Even if you could hold the whole world in the palm of your hand, so what? Obsidian flame has no hands to hold the world, no hands to wipe away your tears. Oh, like, are we... Done, but not done? It did talk about it just being the beginning. Oh, 
there's your freak general. Uh, buddy. Buddy, you don't want this. Actually, he probably does. They, they have, like, kicked my ass very hard in the past. Do I have anything that can help here in, in fight? Training, maybe? I don't, know. I don't think that really makes sense. So, more squad limit. Cool. Uh, yeah, we'll do collaboration, I think. And just rehabilitation? Yeah, why not? Alright. Well. Um, no worries. Fight the Ifrit. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I'm gonna help. Let's know. Alright, well this will be our, like, last battle. I guess. And then we'll, uh, we'll give some thoughts. But, so far, like, this game, as a rule, like, as, as, on the whole, pretty damn good. I'm gonna put that out there. Like, okay. Oh, actually, I'll, I'll finish that thought when it's not just blasting in my ears. Oh my god. Oh, it's so loud. Just kill them and be done with it. Kill me. Okay. Alright, we got him. Jesus, that was just like a wall of noise. Um. Yeah. I loved this game. It's very unique. It had on, on the surface, it is very similar to, uh, as I said multiple times during this playthrough, like Mountain Blade, which is cool. Um, I do love a good, love a good bit of Mountain Blade, but man, it is just, it's fascinating. Um, the story in it, pretty damn cool. It, it is like Mountain Blade, if Mountain Blade had an actual story that was actually good. Um, can I confess? Oh god, you always think it's a bit early, Fadio. What, what, how much do I need to talk to you? Um, yeah, no, the story in this is really good, like, and, and having said that, that's writing aside, like, okay, the writing in it, yeah, I think the writing's good, it's just a translation that's the problem, but with that in mind, like, being that that is... The, the result of the game that obviously the translation was a little bit rocky sometimes. That's incredible. Um, this game was thoroughly, thoroughly fun from start to finish. And like, I could definitely see myself playing this again. Just like not back to back to back, if that makes sense. Like just start a game, you know, play it a little bit every now and again. You know, you play it over the course of like a year, play it over the course of, you know, six months, and you just kind of play it every now and again, put an hour into it here, a couple hours into it there. I think it's a great game for that. I, I think it's really fun. We definitely play the easy class, um, and it was recommended to kind of to kind of tell told us that. Um, and I agree. Spirit Mance is very easy. Like, it's, it's very straightforward. The attacks do just mondo damage. You don't have to put yourself in danger to cast most of them. Like, the most dangerous one's the Psychic Bullet, and that thing kicks ass. Like, that did so much damage when we upgraded it with the plus plus. Um, but I'd like to see the other classes. I'd like to play around with, like, what was one of the other ones? Like, the Barbarian? There was, wasn't there, like, a Wanderer? Like, the, the, there was something, something odd that was, like, the hard class. I'd be interested to play that. But anyway, guys, I, I guess we're, come on now. Okay, come on now. Look, just, just take my money. Go away. Um, wait, what, what faction are you even a part of? Tribe Mart- okay. You know what? Doesn't matter. Guys, I guess that's- I guess this is the end of our, our, our video, our series. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this one. Have you enjoyed the Let's Play? Do, do you think- you know, do you think this is a good game? Do, did you enjoy it? Did you think you'd play it? Have you played it already and do you- do you enjoy it? It's definitely a little rough around the edges, but not in a bad way. Just in a way that it's clearly lost a little bit in translation, but I, I for one, love it. So guys, we are going to leave this episode here, end this series, so thank you very much, everyone for watching. If you like this video, 
make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Check out those videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Goodbye.